Hello, my name is Rashid Al Hamli, and I am an alumni of Al Ittihad Private School Jumeirah, and a first year physics student in the University of Saint Andrews in Scotland. And today, I will be speaking about public speaking, its importance, and some tips to consider. Starting off with the importance of public speaking, speaking, it is divided into three main concepts. The first concept being winning over a crowd. A small scale example of winning over a crowd is uh, being a charismatic person in such a way that you leave a good impression on people who will then think highly of you and respect you. The second concept is to motivate a crowd. Now imagine you have a soccer game and one of your friends is anxious about it. So you go to them, give them a quick pep talk, motivate them, and afterwards during the game you see them performing better than they usually do, due to the motivation. Moving on to the third concept, uh, it is to inform people. Now, during public speaking, through speech you can convey emotions, and these emotions will give a deeper meaning to the facts that are being said, in such a way that sad news can be read in a sad tone, which would convey a deeper message. Those are the concepts of why public speaking is important, and now we will be moving on to some tips to consider, some tips that help me become a better public speaker. The first tip is to be confident. My father once told me that you as the speaker are speaking and the audience as listeners are listening. Therefore, the speaker has ideas and information and knowledge to convey that the audience, the listeners, do not know. So as such, you as a speaker have the upper hand. When you speak, the audience is going to listen. And as such, uh, confidence gives impact to the meaning that is being said. If you are not confident while giving a public speech, no matter how good the message conveyed is, the audience will not be moved. But if you are confident during your public speech, no matter how many mistakes done during the speech occurred, people would still be motivated, people would still be moved by the speech that has been given. And that's in consideration of confidence. Moving on to the next tip, it is tone. Now, you can use your voice to convey messages and emotions really clearly by using many methods, but I will be highlighting only two. The first method is pausing. Giving a proper pause during a speech will help the audience to understand everything that has been said before the pause up until the pause. And the pause will help them to gather all the knowledge that they had, understand it completely before moving on with the next sentences. Another way of uh, conveying messages clearly would be by stressing on words that need stressing, as I have done there, ironically. Uh, by stressing on words, you speak it louder or more boldly in order for people to understand it clearly between everything that has been said in the sentence. This really outlines the message that you are trying to convey. And the last tip that I will be talking about is if you are struggling with always being short on time during any presentations or public speaking or speeches, I would recommend that you be comfortable in the situation that you are in. Always be comfortable. Because if you are confident and comfortable, you will be able to speak faster or speak slower as the need arises. As such, you will be adjusting your speed to fit the time allocated. But be careful. If you speak too fast, you might agitate or give energy to the crowd when you don't need to give energy to the crowd. And if you speak too slow, maybe the crowd will get bored and not listen to what you are actually trying to say. There is an intermediate range of uh, speed of talk in which you can speak, have the audience understand and be comfortable with the tone of voice and tone of speed that you are using. And as such, I have given you a speech about the importance of public speaking and some tips to consider while giving a speech. Thank you.